My name is Jeffrey Aiken. I'm the assistant principal at PS120 in Brooklyn. We're the Magnet School for Architecture, Engineering, and Design. Our goal for our students at PS120 is for our students to become more cooperative learners, to learn to work together, because we know in the future, the jobs they do, they won't be working alone, they'll be working with other people. So Dr. Suarez had a vision years ago for a school with a, uh, that would expose kids to architecture, engineering, and design, and that's exactly what the Magnet program has brought in. Uh, the grant was designed to bring in those experiences for kids to be able to build, to think, to solve problems, to work together, and that's how we've used the resources to, to bring in those opportunities for kids. The benefits that a magnet school offers its students is just a chance for children to explore education and academics in different lenses. So students are able to work on projects, not only reading and writing, but they're able to actually create and put their personality into their projects. So students get to build, they get to observe, they get to create and improve, and they get to actually see what they're capable of creating with their own two hands. When I grow up, I want to be an engineer. I like engineering because you get to use all these different like materials to build. Wood, clay, paints, building blocks, Legos. So we do have a new specialty class here and it takes place in the makerspace room. This is where students are working strictly on project-based learning, really focusing on STEM. And I noticed personally that this is becoming students' favorite class. The first time I seen the engineering room, I was pretty nervous. I didn't know what to do until I seen all these equipment. I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to use all of these. And once we seen all the equipment and we learned about them, some of my friends helped me to understand more and then we started to build these really wonderful projects. What makes PS120 unique is their engineering and design labs, uh, their art lab, the technology hubs, and it gives my daughter an opportunity to be creative and learn how to use this equipment and it prepares her for success um, in a variety of careers. When I grow up, I want to be a photographer and how it prepares me is um, art because it would teach us about like the different ways to hold a camera and stuff like that. In the art room I connect to the social studies curriculum and what the teachers are doing in literacy and in math. We collaborate together to make better projects and a more hands-on learning so these students can take it in and remember it for a lifetime not just for the moment. I also wanted to be like a game designer and like we do like hour of code and it helps us design games. We have so many different places where we can take the children to continue their learning. So they're learning it in the classroom with us, but the science teacher is also um, knowledgeable of what we're learning and she'll reinforce it there. The art teacher will also reinforce it there. It's, there there's a connectivity to our school in terms of the children's learning. The content is now really student-centered and students have a voice in the curriculum. So the students are now making suggestions in regards to the curriculum, things that they're interested in learning. And the teachers, um, in turn, have been able to really kind of hone in on student interests and you know, create projects accordingly. The dream I have for the students when they graduate from my Magnet School of Architecture and Design is to continue their learning, not to leave it behind. And as a principal, I have actually reached out. But these students really need to understand that the skills and the strategies that we teach them here at this, at the elementary level, will carry them on forever. <laughs>